I guess. Uh, <laughs> I love you too. And a half or so months ago, we started a journey to change Richmond. Yeah. Yeah. I told you then that I would always stand up for those individuals who lacked a voice. I told you then that I would always right those wrongs that I saw in our city. In a matter of that time, we've been able to come back. Yes. In August, in August, public polling had us at 7%. Tonight, we are leading the popular vote with nearly 36% of the vote. In the last couple of weeks, I've said that in the beginning of this race, people told me that I should wait my turn. People told me that I am way too impatient. Tonight, I will tell you that impatience is a virtue. Y'all know it. I was impatient because nearly a quarter of our residents live under the poverty line. Yeah. Yeah. I was impatient because 40% of our children live under the poverty line. Yeah. I was impatient because we have been unable to deliver basic services like broken sidewalks, fixing potholes, collecting the, the leaves, Cutting the grass, yeah. doing business with City Hall. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't apologize for being impatient because we, the city of Richmond, we've been patient for far too long. It is our time. This night would not have happened without you all. And, in the last, in this entirety of this campaign, we have now touched nearly 75,000 homes. Because some said it could not be done. Some said that we could not reach into each and every home the way that we did, running a professional, people-driven campaign. Yeah. Yeah. But we did that. We spoke to the concerns of each and every resident, no matter where they lived. If they lived in Churchill, if they lived in Stratford Hills, if they, they lived in the north side, we spoke to everyone's concerns. And we put together a broad-based coalition that looks like the city of Richmond. Yeah. And you know what? I could not do that without some help. I said you all today, but I could not do that with the help of people like city councilman Jonathan Belisle's in the back. Tonight, we were able to put together a coalition. We were able to put together a coalition not only to win, 
but to also govern. A coalition that looks like us. A coalition that allows us to ensure that every voice, no matter where you live in the city, is at the table. And I've always promised that I will be a mayor that listens to all of us, listens to the city, the citizens of Richmond, that will put the children of this city first and that will unite this city to be a strong. Now, I'm going to step down here in a second because there's still a lot of uncertainty out there. Still a lot of uncertainty out there. But either way, we're pretty certain here. <laughs> Either way, if it's tonight or December 20th, I have you all to thank. Yeah. Yeah. And I ask, I ask that you bring your energy not only for tonight, but bring your energy if necessary for the next six weeks yeah. so we can take this city.